Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to fit a universal armrest in an Hyundai i800. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to take the back panel off the seat. It's going to feel a little bit stiff to start off with. But up here, there's two hooks, so if you pull that back, if you were to pull that, you're going to snap them hooks up top. So you have to just slide that down and just give it a wiggle and it'll come out when it wants to come out all right and that's what you're faced with and that's where all the fabric is is up top too all right so what we need to do is we need to just gently try and just flip these hinges off to get the fabric away because we're going to need to pull this arm here out so that we can locate where we're going to put the armrest and the really fiddly part is this part here because this bit of fabric is in a hook so what we need to do is we need to open up that hook or try and slide this fabric out of there and I'm just using a pair of pliers Try and do it without ripping. I've got my trusty screwdriver now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and hold this in place. Wow. Get the screwdriver in there. Right, that should just be enough to be able to slide this fabric out nice and gently. <laughs> there we go. Right. So what we need to do now, we need to try and just push this forward gently to find out where our holes are. Now I've done the driver's seat and I tucked it just behind there, it makes it easier. I did the driver's seat one um, a bit earlier on and I found, as you can see there, and I found that locating into this bottom hole is still fairly high but if I put my bottom one into that hole there and the top hole to go there you've got this little bit to drill through now this piece is just for the springs the springs in like a, a coiled um, protector around this little little wing you can drill just underneath that it's almost perfect for it to go and then that sits in there. Now the easiest way that I found with the driver's side was to dismantle the armrest itself. It's only a cheap armrest off Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for it. Um, but all I did was I just unscrewed these screws to get inside. And it's a lot easier to fit the the arm the mechanism from the inside itself first and then relocate everything afterwards while it's in situ and as you can see in there we've got the bolt in there that's that's the stopper all right on the stopper bar so what i want is i want this out of there so I can fit that and then replace it all later on. Now this hole here is going to allow me to put my allen key in there to loosen that, that nut off out of this arm. So I'm going to need to do that to be able to push it out. But the only thing about that is that this hole isn't big enough for that nut to come out of. So we have to widen that hole using our um, drill. Or you could use a file or anything like that so yeah I've just got my drill bit on here I think it's a number eight let's have a look uh, can't see on there it's well used but yeah I think it's a number eight drill bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it just to go inside and just go around and just just sort of and um, file it away little by little because what I don't want is I don't want the hole to be too big all right so I'll just rest it on on here
and all I've done there is I've only taken away the plastic I haven't actually touched the mechanism or anything like that and see if this works it's just a little bit too small to get it all the way out but that'll allow me to move this and it'll just fall out into the bottom so now what I can do I can just push this arm out there's my bolt I'll put that aside in a safe place and then what I want to do is I want to offer this up to the holes so yeah what I need to do now is I need to offer in one of these bolts now that's a little bit too long you don't need it that long um, but it's all I've got at the moment out of the garage uh, I think it's M8 I'm not sure don't hold me to it because I don't know my bolts very well um, but I think it's an M8 bolt and it fits in just nicely um, there is like a screw thread on here which I would have thought would be for a bigger bolt if you wanted to come from the inside of the, the seat itself and screw it in or go from this side and screw it in I'm not too sure so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thread that into that bottom hole I'm just going to um, tighten the nut up from the inside finger tight for now just so I can locate where my hole's going to be now the hole's going to sit just around there it only needs to be big enough just to take one of these nuts um, but yeah it should be the right height now like I said earlier on let me just take this off real quick that positioning there for me and with the depth of this the seat itself now I'm six foot so my arms are going to naturally arrive a little bit higher now if you're a little bit smaller you might want to try and and, and find a way to put it down maybe a little bit lower and actually Screw, uh, drill two holes in there. I'm just going to use the bottom hole, like I said from the start. <laughs> so I'll offer that in, bolt on. Thirteen mil trusty spanner. And my thirteen mil ratchet on the outside. Spanner from the inside. Now I have seen somebody's done it the other way. Uh, on a forum that I've seen I don't quite know why whether his hands are a little bit big but my hands seem to be alright I'll just tighten that on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it from here because that seems to just fit in nicely Now don't touch that drill bit, it'll be red hot. That bit in. And the same as before, we're just going to screw this on. Now, I know one of them was a little bit hard to screw on. And just as you get up towards the, um, the casing of the seat, the metal part of the seat, See, I'm going to I'm gonna have to get my spanner on that. But just as I get up to the part of the, the metal part of the seat, you're going to see that it doesn't look as if it's going to go and sit very nicely. But if you just keep tightening it, it bypasses the, the metal coil fixture at the end and it just sits itself nice and snug. There's no way you're going to be able to move it with your fingers. Dear. 
there we go so that for me is seated perfectly all right so now what i need to do is i need to offer the fabric back over to this bolt area uh, to this arm area and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a couple of little slits uh, in the fabric and the and the foam so that that can come through and try and make it um, as small as possible so you're not ripping too much of the fabric right so now I've got my arm on and I've got the bar showing all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refit the back of the seat oh, it's all going on outside I'm gonna refit the back of the seat put the clips back in where they were which is nice and simple just hooking them back over and then I'm just going to try and put this fabric back in <laughs> round here it's an absolute nightmare I thought that was your favourite part no it's not there we go so that's back in I'm going to hook that back on to the spring I'm gonna give that a nip up it's not gonna go anywhere is it beautiful beautiful everything oh I missed one that one that one that one that one that's all back in and then I'm gonna offer the back up putting the back in like I said you've got the hooks so you want to slide that back up in place hold that where it is and then just give it a push Give it a little tug because the kids are definitely definitely going to have this off no doubt that's on there that's on there there we go and then what I need to do where is it I need to offer this nut through the hole into the bar. Now this is quite awkward because there we go. I'm just gonna see if I can tighten it up. But I'm not left-handed mum. That's in. Wonderful. Did it first time this time. Driver seat took me ages. I'm going to screw that in until the thread has gone all the way into the bar itself. Sorry about the camera angle and the lighting. It's a bit poor. That's it. Nice and tight. So now the armrest go up and down and you can use your adjuster to have it further down if you want or further up if you like all right now all we need to do is replace the top piece of the armrest on and then just squeeze it back in replace the screws and your armrest is finished so there you go, the armrest is all fitted now. Um, you can pick them up nice and cheap off Amazon. I think for the pair it was about £44. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, if you did like the video and it helped you out, please don't forget to like uh, and subscribe because we'll be doing a little bit more in this uh, in this van in the future. I've got a few plans for it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.